day four already. Can't believe it. So I am in the food hall of my hotel in the summer dockside. I'm just about to have this burrito for breakfast, like a breakfast burrito. So if you want to have a look at it, I will open this up. Yes. Yes. I've been told it is good and a bit dippy and a bit spicy, so I like my spicy foods, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's massive to be fair, it's huge, only nine dollars, which was great, and I got some orange juice as well. So try to be a bit healthy. So today is Island of Adventure Day and I haven't been this trip, so we'll see what's new and let me have my breakfast first and then we'll get straight on the bus into the park. So yeah, let's go. really good. It's got like eggs and potato and onions and I don't know what else but it's really good. It is huge as well. Like I say for the price, it's worth it. So fucking worth it. And you get the hash browns as well. Nice. It's still not there. I wonder if they've moved it. I was in my vlog a few days ago. I wonder where I went. Is that a new one that's coming? So if you haven't been here before, you and you're gonna to go to just the, the end here where you see the, the TV screen there. You take a left to Islands of Adventure, where you see the big pillar, or take a right to Universal Studios. So today we're taking a left. So I even have my new t-shirt on today and my new glasses with me. Hopefully I don't break them because I'm going to have to buy a new pair of sunglasses every single day. Maybe that's their plan. But we've taken that left. You can just see the Islands of Adventure coming up. So the sun's not out just yet. It might come out later on. It is a bit wet because it's been raining all night. I did hear it to be fair last night. It woke me up for a few minutes and then I'm that tired anyway so I fell back asleep again but I always like to come down here and stand next to well, this area here you get Margaritaville just there kind of bar you can get some food as well and you can just see some of the boats over there and they go back and forth through the tunnels and you can take all that, take us all in. You've got the Chocolate Emporium, the Hard Rock Cafe, Universal Studios. So that's the entrance to Universal Studios. When you come down there, we've, we've, we've walked. Take a right into Universal Studios. We took the left towards Islands of Adventure for today's adventure. So, yeah, let's go and have some fun at Islands of Adventure. <laughs> Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's down. The adventure definitely begins today. As soon as you walk into the kind of port of entry, they call it. You can have a look at the park hours and the wait times for rides. So, play the Hippogriff, 35 minutes there. A lot of the rides, 5 minutes. Dudley do rides, I'm not. No, I made that. That's too cold for that. Lots of coaster, 45. The Bird of Jimmy's only 15 minutes. So, have a little check 
with you. So today's plan is just this morning to walk around, see what's new since my last visit, go with the flow. I'm not going to rush anything because I was saying I'm burnt out and tired again. I'll give you one tip though. If you have hay fever like me, my hay fever is kicking in. I did take one of my tablets this morning. But I don't because it's the, the rain last night and it's damp and all the, the flowers. This doesn't help me stand around next to a tree right enough, but it's a, uh, yeah, it's good to be back as, as always. It's quiet because of the rain maybe, because um, it's a weekday, it's Friday, it's April Fool's Day. So no April Fool's here, I am actually here and I'm next to the Hulk. So, as I said, I'm going to walk around, see what's new, and then I'm going to try and maybe have a look at some of the rides. So, let's, let's go for a walk. So I've just been walking around, enjoying all the sights and sounds again. I'm not going to do any wet rides today, so if you want to see some of the wet rides I've done before, you can see my November series. But I want to do Kong, I want to do Poseidon's Fury, that's reopened again. So I never went on that last time because it was closed, but that opens at 10am. So I might go on Kong and then take it after there. So let's go on Kong. That was fun. I always enjoy going on Kong. I remember the first time I went on it, it was actually like an open day and ever since then I've enjoyed it. I was a bit different there, so the route was, well, I never took you outside. They just kind of cut that bit and went straight inside. So, I'm just now... Oh. One of my favourite rides. I'm not going to go on it because it's not a day to get wet. If you want me to see, you see, you see my last videos, my last day in November. I don't want to keep going on the same things, I want to try different things, so... It's not, not, not far off, just past 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. I get away from that sun there. And I want to go on Poseidon's Fury. I can't remember if I've been on Poseidon's Fury or not. So let's go and have a look at that and see what that, I think it's a walkthrough ride. I think, I can't remember. It's been closed for a while. I haven't been here for a while before November because it was closed in November. So anyway, I keep watching that ride and I want to go on it, but I don't want to get wet and ruin my new t-shirt that I got and probably break my glasses so anyway, let's go and see Poseidon's Fury and see if I can remember it before I get any closer to this viewing area so if you know what I'm talking about don't never stand here to watch it because the water will splash all of you as you can see, that's not the rain that's caused that maybe some of the rain but mainly the ride that's caused that it is still warm today hopefully the sun comes out you see it I never quite went over that thing. So, let's go. And we are in. So the next tour is 35 minutes. I genuinely can't remember if I have been in this or not. Oh, I found Bigfoot. That is one Bigfoot. Wow. Look at the detailing. Everywhere you look, even the waves. The music. Even the colour on the walls there. So cool. It's 
So, yeah, as you can imagine, all well, that's Poseidon's hand there, so just to show you, you can see it sticking up. I've seen it sticking up last time, the last visit, above the hoarding. Yeah, this is so cool. So I came all this way, it's 35 minute wait, it's worth it in my opinion. So let's have a, a look around and see what Poseidon Fury is all about. Look at the detail. Oh, I need to my new glasses off. Look at that. To be honest, that just looks like cake. That does look, doesn't it? It's a cake. Okay, I've never been on that. I don't remember any of it. I'm not going to give it away, but I definitely recommend. Um, it's worth the wait, definitely worth the wait. Even up to, I would say it's worth waiting up to about 45 minutes for. It's good to see that Universal Studios, uh, uh, Universal Orlando, Islands of Adventure do have this type of ride still available. And you'll know what I mean by that if you go on it. So, big thumbs up from me. One last look before I walk away from this. Amazing detail. And now on to the next adventure, see what else we can try something new, hopefully something new, if not, we'll just go with the flow, maybe get something to eat just now, maybe a snack. Came over to my favourite place to sit in Islands of Adventure. If you've been here before, you know where I am. You can see the Velocicoaster. You can see the Hulk. See Dr. What's his name again? <laughs> Doom. That's it. Dr. Doomfall. So, I'm gonna have pretzel. I don't eat any pretzels anywhere else apart from here. With cheese. Pretzel. Lovely. Well, that pretzel filled the void. Now on to Seuss Landing. I don't get me wrong, it is a lot for kids here. And not for myself, but I'll show you what I can. Show, it's so good to see all of you. 
So Suits Landing is great for kids and big kids alike, but obviously I'm travelling myself so I'm not going to go on any of the kids' rides, um, which would, would, would be strange, um, let's be honest. So, but if you want to meet the Lorax, you want to meet Cat and Hat, you want to meet the Grinch, all these characters, then this is where you need to be. So I've just took doing another round and another lap of the park and I've been through the Toon Lagoon there and now I'm going to show you, I'm not going to go on it, bilge, rat, barges, last time I got soaked, not today, so let's go, I'll show you what it's like, a way you can watch it, a good viewing platform. So we go right to the back, to the olive, there's an olive fish ship, you see them coming in the mouth, it's pretty quiet, probably because Nobody wants to get wet, but there's a few folk that are already very wet. So have a change of clothes with you, or you need to pay for the dryers, or wear a poncho. Let's go right to the top, there we are. And you can look down, and you get some, oh, look, at the, look at the view you get. Velocia Costa, one of my favourite places to have some tea, but I had my pretzel there. You can even see Universal Rip Rocket Ride. You see the Hulk. It really is a good viewing platform to see the park. Get some good photos. You can even go down here to this little area here. Get some great photos down there. Even just to walk around. This is what I like about the parks. Not just the roller coasters or rides. It's the, the theming, the experience. You're, you're immersed within the experience, the characters. Same to as well. Oh, the hay fever is getting better. It's hard work. If any of you have got hay fever, you know what I'm talking about. So, yep, good little spot. Got some great photos. Off by his map, trying to find his spinach. How cool is this? That's why the slide's there, but the slide is closed just now. I didn't know this was here. Here's the spinach. And the shoes. What size is that? Watch one of my videos, I'll show you some of the Velocity Coaster. You see this? So cool, looks like I'm doing a test. Oh, I think it was stopped or shut down for a while there. That was empty.
So Velocicoaster is back up and running, it is up to 120 minutes now, uh, yeah, so I'm going to let that die down and maybe give it a go later, how I feel, don't know, Why? what just went in my head there, I thought that was water, I'm right underneath, I'm just cutting through, right underneath, uh, can't remember that right, name again, um, I'm just cutting through, it's just landing, taking the shortcut that just goes round, round it, um, and gonna go to the Hulk roller coaster instead. I'm gonna, gonna give that a go, so let's go. Wish me luck. One of my favourite roller coasters on the Hulk. It is only a 20 minute wait, so wish me luck. I'm gonna put my stuff in the locker and I'm gonna go in the Hulk. Wakes you up. Oh, thank you for that drink. Uh, I love it all. Love it, love it, love it. So, let's go explore some more. So, if you haven't seen Doctor Doom's Fearfall, it's basically a drop. So, it takes you up and then it drops you fast.
I was waiting for the superhero motorcade at Superhero Island. It's supposed to be every half hour, I thought. And they got on their bikes and they go around the streets and then they get out and they do the meet and greets. But it looks like they're just walking now. So, that's a shame. So that was something different I wanted to see, something different I wanted to show. But it looks like I'm not going to see that today. So, that's a bit, I don't know why that that's not shown. <laughs> So, I think I'm going to call it a day, not a day as in fully, but a day just here at Islands of Adventure. I am just going to go over to Universal Studios just for an hour to see if there's anything different, anything else happening that's new that we missed out last time. So, let's go and have a look at Islands of Adventure for about an hour or so. Yeah, the adventure is on because I'm going to Universal Studios. <laughs> So just on City Walk now, just going past the Hard Rock Cafe. A few folk have said to me before about there's a section of the Berlin Wall somewhere here, so I'm going to go try and find it, see if we can have a look at it. I've been walking around in circles. I don't know if this is the right way, but this is to the right hand side of the Hard Rock Cafe. And it's just a random path, but I'm hoping it leads me to the section of Berlin Wall. Some good music out there. And I think I've found it. I need to keep talking because the music is absolutely blaring. So there you go. Section of the Berlin Wall. So just take that path to the right hand side of Hard Rock Cafe. Take it from the back. So cool. There's some information there. So I'm waiting for the music to die down a little bit. We should talk a bit more about this Bell and Mall section. It's incredible that the Hard Rock Cafe have actually got it. So cool. So as you look at the front of the Hard Rock Cafe, there's a path to the right hand side. Just take that path and just follow straight. That'll take you to that section of Bell and Mall. There's a grad bash going on today, whatever that is. There's a grad 2022, class 2022 grad bash. So if you're on that, have fun. Finger. Just be aware, you will be doing a lot of walking. as a lot of walking holiday. You will be? Down there. Donkey's getting I don't know. Bill's not laughing. Oh, I think that yeah, The Transformers are out. So they weren't out here on my day at Universal Studios. So let's see who's out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's me, Yeah. Hey, okay, let's go! Man, I'm so excited to get 
start on this new project. Man, me too, but look, dude, I think we're gonna be able to keep this a secret? Definitely, we're not that visible all the way up here. I mean, nobody's standing around watching us. Except for all of these people right. standing hey. around. Hi, everyone! Yeah. Uh, no. yep. uh, hey, fellas, I don't want to make hey. a big deal out of this, but the stud feather is not finding any studs today. Oh, oh wow. Uh, big deal. Uh, You're probably doing it wrong. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to put it right on the stud there, Mike oh, Swain. okay, yeah, right on the stud. Yeah, something like... Oh. 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 Look at that! Oh. 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 Thanks for the help. Seems like it's working from up here. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. We have a problem. Yeah. The scaffold's supposed to be across the lake. Take a look. Oh, yeah. uh, yikes. Yeah. Uh, what do we do? Bam. Get uh, out of here. Yep. Hi, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, real quick, you guys should know the boss is actually on his way. Oh. It's yeah, right. yeah, uh, yeah, we should, uh, we should probably stay and look busy. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 Site today. Yeah, yeah, no sweat yeah. though. This kind of happens all the time. Uh, real quick heads up, everybody. I know what it looks like, but you haven't stumbled over the set of Magic Mike 3. All right, let's keep it up. Uh, uh, yo, yeah. oh, hey, whoa. Yeah, uh, we're keeping the gear on. Yeah, oh. right. So, uh, hey, yo, Michael. Hey, go and show them the beat you've been building. Oh, you really think they want to hear that? Oh, I think they want to hear it. I don't guess I'll ask. Hey, y'all want to hear it, beat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super convincing, so do me a favor then. Step it right up to these orange cones up here, and away we go.
Hey. Nice. Okay. okay. Let's do this. Jesse, I need some help, man. Yep. Yes. Woo! What? What?
Well, day four has ended. Can't believe it's the end of day four already. And yeah, tomorrow is my full last full day, and I am going to do something in the park again. But to me, it feels like it's another park within the park. So hopefully that gives you a hint. But again, hopefully you enjoy the day. I tried to do some new things. Wanted to see what was different. Disappointed with the superhero motorcade. I wanted to see that. But done a few rides, seen a few, few things, done some interactions, and had a, a generally good day and chill day. And that's what I wanted, uh, to be fair. So on that note, just want to say thank you for watching. You know what to do. Until next time, see you then. Bye-bye.